Right, so I'm going to start this video before I do the intro. If I have, if I don't seem myself or I haven't been myself or things haven't been easy, if you've been on my TikTok or my Instagram or my Facebook, you might have known. Sadly, cut a long story short, sadly last week Archie had to be put down the cat and it's broken me, it's left me really broken and I've not been coping very well without the cat. I've been really not myself. Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining us now, welcome. So, this will be the first video of 2024 uploaded. But the current time is Friday the 29th, well, uh, Saturday the 30th, in the middle of the night, I'm, uh, slash Friday. So I'm going to my mum's today in Lockerbie. Anyhow, um. I was going to vlog Christmas Day, but it was very manic and with all the cooking I had to do and all the stuff and um, I had a bad end to 2023, a really bad end, one of the worst things that could happen. So in basic terms, Archie had to be put down, uh, uh, cut a long story short. He had tummy problems and he was being sick and then all of a sudden, uh, uh, after a few consultations and them telling me to give him this thing from Pets at Home and change his diet. Nothing worked and I took to them to the vet because I demanded an appointment and he, they told me he had cancerous lumps on his belly. So I had to put him, I had to get him put down. So that was not the easiest thing to do. That was a horrible thing I had to do. And Peter was in bits and I've not been coping very well, but it feels like every day at the minute I'm having the pit of my stomach, this feeling like I want to cry, but I can't, and it's driving me up the wall. Why can I not cry? And I have a few times cried, but it's just been difficult. My wee best friend, my wee shadow not next to me, I've not had him next to me. And the cuddles that I could have received, because I've been struggling with, um, I've been I've been struggling with, uh, back, I had bacterial vaginosis, then I had a fucking yeast infection. And, uh, yeah, not great. So, anyhow, what I was going to say was, later on when I get up, I'm getting up about one, I'm going to bed soon, because I don't sleep very well. And that's something in 2024 I want to change. And I've got manifestation boards done. I'm going to try and post positive quotes every day that are to do with manifesting on my, on my Facebook, my Instagram, and my TikTok. And I'm going to put positive music on them. I'm going to try and do a manifestation journal. I was going to do one tonight, but I think I'll do it tomorrow when I'm at my mum's. But I'm going to my mum's tomorrow because I thought me and Peter have been together for quite a while in the flat, in his flat. And um, we're getting to the point now where we're getting a bit sick of each other. So we need our own space and more him sick of me because I'm I can be a bit much. So we're going... And also I wanted to spend some time with my mum and the dog because doggy cuddles really help me and my mum does too. So it's not been great. It's been quite difficult, you know what I mean? But tomorrow, um, I thought I would start the vlog off now because I'm going to do some packing. And then I'm going to go... Um, then I'm going to go to bed. And I thought tomorrow I'll probably be in a rush because I've got my hair to wash, all the um, Olaplex off, I've got shaving to do. I've got um, makeup to put on, I've got clothes to put on, I've got things to put away, I've got to eat, I've got to get to the train station. So yeah, it's going to be a bit manic tomorrow. So I think, I thought, if I decide to do the, some of the vlog now, then I can just do it when I get on the train tomorrow. So this will be the first vlog of 2024, but one of the main reasons I didn't do Christmas Day was because I was a bit sad and also because my, my cat died and it was really difficult. He died on Friday. Uh, a week week yesterday so he died a few days before Christmas and it couldn't have been any worse timing and it's not been easy at all and um, my last cat I cried more and I don't but I feel more sad this time because it was unexpected whereas my last cat it was expected so it was just horrible and I, I I could have kept him alive with loads of medication, but I didn't want to do that because it's not best for him. So um, Peter kindly, as a Christmas present, paid for him to get cremated and in a casket where they nail it down. But this time I'm getting a wee... Um, my friend Jamie is going to give me a little spell bottle 
and she's going to put some of his ashes in it and she's going to glue it shut so I've got him round my neck and with me at all times because that cat meant the world to me and um and I just want to thank everyone that's seen it and given me positive messages and look at what my friend Jordan got me well Charlie this was so sweet of them my wee babes that was him at his hap one of his happy moments was he really was a happy cat he just wanted to sit with mummy all the time his well, I call myself his adoptive mummy. He just wanted to sit with me all the time. And then my friend Jen got me this with sympathy, which really made me cry. She said, To Isla, I'm so sorry to hear about Archie and I'm sorry for your loss. Thinking of you and sending love and hugs. Love, Jenna. Kiss, kiss. Because I call her Jen because she, her real name's Jennifer and we've always called her Jen, but she prefers Jenna, so I need to get used to calling her Jenna. See, my mum's Jennifer as well, but she hates it and she likes Jenny. But she's Jenny with an I because it's short for Jennifer. She's not J-E-N-N-Y. -E and then she got me this, my wee pal Jen, Jenna, which I thought was really sweet. My angel has wings. No, my angel has whiskers. And it had a little picture of a cat on it. How cute is that? That just made me cry. So I'm going to put that on my key ring in a bit. Or I might even attach it to my bag. So that made me sob a little bit uh, when I got that. But it's been really difficult without my wee man next to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do some, uh, I might do two vlogs. I might do day one, day two um, of New Year, but um, it might be a long video. But um, yeah, I'm going to eat, finish eating, then I'm going to do some packing, then I'm going to get in bed, watch some TV on the laptop and go to sleep, try to get to sleep, get up around about one, leave at three, because the train's at five, I'm going to get a taxi there. I might have a wee coffee. Um, well, not really a coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I might have a sparkling water or a water. And then I'll go to my mum's. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing my mum. Um, because I could do with my mum's hug. But I've got to look positive to the future. I did the right thing for Archie. And Archie knows that I loved him. And uh, I know that he loved me. And it's just what it was. I had to do what was best for Archie. So I've got to look positive now to 2024. But next year, there's a few positive things on the horizon. I am starting a British Sign Language course. And I'll be taking my support with me. And in 2024, it looks like I'm probably doing a teaching assistant course. Now, I don't know if I'll be doing it at West Lothian college or edinburgh college but i would ideally want to do edinburgh college but i don't know if there is any courses at edinburgh college so i'm having a look but i really want to be a special educational needs teaching assistant one day a week i'd quite like to do that as a job uh, so i'm going to get my passport that's the first thing i'm going to do in 2024 is get a passport then i'm going to do my gender recognition certificate so i can tick those two things off my manifestation board that'll be two things that, that are easy to do and it'll be great once I've got the passport because I'll be able to go away to um I'll be able to go away um to places because in the summer or like just in just after the summer when it's a bit cheaper like September, I have always wanted to go to the Isle of Man. Hi everyone, I'm at my mum's. Does anybody have a DJI Pocket 3 and know how to change the setting? Or something to do with the memory card that says something weird. I'm loving how this is making my skin look. My hair's looking shit because it needs a trim uh, in the fringe. And I'm getting my hair done on Thursday. So I didn't vlog on the train because it was very busy and I was a bit anxious and nervous about doing it. But, however, um, yeah, it's been good and um, stuff. So, yeah, it's all good. I'll show you Ruri, the dog. <coughs> there you go, Ruri. I'm I'm videoing for YouTube. There's Ruri, cutie. Bye, bloody keeps trying to hunt me, which is not fun. No, I'm joking. But as you say, um, so tomorrow will be New Year, so I'll vlog a bit of that. But obviously not much because some people might not want to be in a vlog. So thank you, um. This is just um, for tonight. 
So yeah, we're watching Only Connect. I'm waiting on food shopping coming for me to eat because I've hardly ate today. So yeah, I did get this, which I usually get from... I got these and I absolutely love these. These are my favourite crisps because they're so spicy. Oh, fuck's sake. Need habanero chilli. And of course... If you're gluten free, you can't go to M&S, in my opinion, without getting these bad boys. Which was funny because last year I actually found earrings with that. That were like mini ones in them. I thought it was a bit weird and they even had the same label on. So yeah. But I will check in tomorrow when I'm partying. But I want to say a happy new year to everyone. Or if you're Scottish, it's Hogmanay. Well, Hogmanay on the 31st and then New Year. See, I didn't know that. I thought that Hogmanay meant New Year. I didn't realise it was Happy New Year's Eve. So I was a bit confused. So I was bad. And today I'm wearing my crystals. Um, and I've got this jumpsuit on. I don't know if I can get this tracking thing. So it's just going to follow my face now. So I've got this jumpsuit on. So yay. But... This will be the first upload of 2024. Oh my god, it doesn't feel like we should be saying that soon. So, yeah, got to Locker Bay and it was raining. Heavy, heavy rain. So, it's all good. Speak to you all later when I'm partying tomorrow. Yeah, so I wanted to show you this. I thought this was cute in my mum's house. This Christmas tree. It's so cute. I love it. I just thought it was so cute. And then we've got all the dogs. That was my mum's old dog, I think. That was Tilly doing the fly ball and all that. And it's amazing because I remember Tilly. My mum never forces the dogs to do it. Tilly was beside herself when we were driving because it was near Bristol she used to do it. And when my mum used to drive up, if we got near to the turn off, she would know where we were and she would go ballistic. <laughs> Oh, and look, look what I found in my mum's flat. It's cute, look, in my mum's house. Well, it's not a flat, it's a house. No, my mum was just showing me baby photos of the couple's babies next door. It's really nice because um, it's nice to see my mum a bit more happier and settled because when she lived down in Devon, she wasn't very happy. And I know she had my nephews down there, but to be up here is nicer. And it's nicer for me because I can see her. And when she drives me nuts, I can go home. I don't have to stay for weeks. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> she can get rid of me. I've actually had... Um, I actually have a lot of positivity for 2024. I am starting the British Sign Language course and then I am applying at some point to do teaching as a start. And I might have a placement, but next year I want to go out more to more groups. And... Um, yeah, I said happy Ogmanay to my sister. I mean, I've not seen my sister in ages. She's not been too well with her heart, so... But I'm not going into that in too much detail because it's her business to tell people, not mine. So, yeah. I think tomorrow I might... Tomorrow I might treat myself to a um, sparkling water. Yeah, I'm really going all out, getting drunk, ain't I? Because I can't drink. Because I am... Um, I don't really drink because it makes me feel funny with the meds I'm on. So, And I don't really like hangovers anymore. I like this. This is a good thing. You should get this for your, if you've got a cat as well. It says, if your dog thinks you're the best, don't seek a second opinion. Well, I agree. I agree. Dogs and cats have a great intuition for knowing if people are great. Because when I was involved with a narcissist... Cat didn't like the narcissist, but loved everyone else, hated the narcissist, so obviously they probably knew Ruri being hyper. Ruri. Ruri. There he is, look. There he is. Oh, he's kissing the camera. You silly boy, you're kissing the camera. You're kissing the camera. The camera's following you. There you go. There's Ruri. So hi everybody. It's New Year's Eve. So I'm going to get ready in a bit. Because I'm going to my pals. Well, my mum's pals. Yeah. 
my mum's now moved and she's a lot happier now, which is good, so. I'm just looking back at people's posts that they put up about 2023. There's this one lady that I really um, admire quite a lot and she's got like her um, own, she's, she's got her own like fashion-y, um, like she's done fashion throughout the year that she's worn. She's really fashionable, I love her. Um, but yeah. And look who's here to say hello. Ruri. Ruri. Oh, Ruri's here to say hello. <laughs> Look at Ruri. Oh, well, his mummy's having a shower, ain't he? He's too cute. He is a border collie called Ruri. <laughs> R-H-U-A-R-D. I D H, I think that's how you spell it. It's the Gaelic spelling anyway. And he is a cutie and a darling, and he just loves everybody, don't you? He's not good with other animals, but he loves humans, don't you? Yeah, we have no wee Phil. Are you going to be on YouTube? Yeah, are you going to be YouTube famous? <laughs> oh, look, this is too cute. He's got the cutest face. Yeah. This is helping me a lot with my grief, with my wee boy that I lost, I know. Yeah. Look at that, he's just too cute. <laughs> oh, he's giving me kisses now. <laughs> you can't all see what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm walking to the party. Wait. It's not actually that cold tonight, I don't think. My mum thinks it is, but that's because she's from Devon. And I'm wearing these heels and I was surprised I can actually walk in them. But we're going to someone's house so if they get too sore I can just take them off. Which is the beauty of going to someone's. So yeah, this is a nice area. I actually haven't explored but the house is nice. It's got solar panels, it's boiling in the house. Look at my hair today, I'm actually quite liking it. I did, I used volumizing shampoo by Function of Beauty is it called? Function of Beauty, yeah. So... Yeah. There you go. Happy New Year, babes. <laughs> Happy New Year, my boy. Yeah. Happy New Year, Ruri. Happy New Year. Well, hi everyone. Since I didn't film much of New Year's Eve, I'm filming today and I'm actually starting off the New Year's I mean to go on. So I am up and ready before midday. Wow, that's an achievement for me. And I actually went to bed last night at 2am. Another achievement. So today, I'm getting out. This needs to be a thing. I need to just get out. And even if I'm having a day where I feel a bit shitty, I need to just get out to, say, like, go out for a walk around the park. Because there's a little, there's a lot of walks in Edinburgh that people don't realise that Edinburgh's got a lot of nature. I know probably not as much as here. In Dumfries and Galloway. And I was on Jeremy Vine this morning. Talking about fuel prices and how you're penalised if you've got like if you have to pay by um if you have to pay by um top up thing me but it's just the way I do it because if I get a big bill all at once it costs me a load of money that it's a load of money at once I don't have because I don't get a lot of money at once. I think the hardest goal this year uh, that I've set myself is going to be saving, but I am going to try hard. I might have to reduce it from £50 a month to £25 a month, but I have thought about it. So I'm just getting red eye to go out for a walk with my mum. So yeah, I will be back when we're at the beach and we're having a walk. Yay! Hi everyone. Just on the way to the beach. Oh, sorry, I didn't know we weren't recording. I thought we're, we're on Podford Beach with the dog. Yeah, and I'm trying to walk in wellies that are like two sizes too big that my mum's giving me and she's storming off and I can't keep up because they're rubbing against my feet and they're coming off. So yeah, <laughs> fun times. I would have brought my own wellies. I've actually got proper hunter wellies in my flat. Um, black ones. So I am filming on my new camera, the Osmo 
DJI Pocket 3, it's so good, it's so slim, that's the case for it. So you can see how slim it is. It's so good, I'm loving it. And yeah. Oh, we're all... oh my God, look. Look at that. The birdies. <laughs> and there's some woman over there that was doing them. Um, there was some woman behind us that was actually doing them. Um, some metal detect work, which I thought was great. I love how this camera just tracks my face. Look how good my skin looks. There's the dog. There's Ruri and Mummy. <laughs> my mum and Ruri. <laughs> Look. But Ruri does not like cars because he's a border collie, so he tries to chase Ruri. them. And he doesn't like other dogs Ruri. either. He's trying to get him on the lead. So yeah, it's all good. But I'm proud of myself because I was up before midday, got out, and my... Yeah, I'm not looking forward to going home for personal reasons. But yeah, I'm not going to speak about that. <laughs> That's personal life. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, this bag. Stay up on my shoulder. My shoulder. And it was nice on New Year's Eve. We had a phone call with my sister on a video call and her boyfriend. Who I've still never met. Do you know I haven't seen my sister since March 2022. March 2022 was the last time I saw my sister. <laughs> so, how is everyone? How's your new year going? I started the day off with lemon water. Oh, oh. Well. Just look at that, look at that. Glorious. Why has it been a deck now? Look at that, look at that. That is stunning. You don't get beaches like that, do you? Many places, and look. I just made a little stony thing. It is amazing. Hello. But yeah, Hello. next time I check in with you all, we will be in a, in a hotel or a cafe or something, having a wee drink. Well, I'll be having a decaf tea or or water or something. Hi everyone, so I'm back home now. Well, back at my mum's. So I won't be vlogging anymore because the battery's low on this. I'm going home. I've got to go back, but when I get paid, uh, when I get paid my money, um, I'm going to do it. Um, when I get paid, I'm going to do a charity shop haul. I don't know if I'll do a charity come shop with me, I'll probably just do a haul afterwards. If you want to know what I'm eating, I'm eating Al Pro Soya No Bits Yogurts. These are delish. They're like, they're kind of like fromage free but dairy free. And they're really nice. The peach ones are my favourite but I'm eating a strawberry one. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and tell me down below what videos you'd like me to do and what kind of content you want to see and um, if there's anything that I could improve on in my videos let me know as well. Any constructive criticism is welcome. I hope that everyone's had a great day, great whatever they're doing and I want to say I love you all. Sorry about my real, f oh this hair is awful, it needs a trim. So yeah, um, love you and leave you all. You've been watching Isla, thank you for watching. And I hope you, you all have had a fabulous new year and a good 2024. There's good things coming my way. Speak to you all later. Bye. 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 bye.